Red has obtained hundreds of Pokemon and seems driven to catch them all. He even keeps track of them in a Pokedex, a type of encyclopedia of Pokemon, so he can organize them and catch as many as he can. Does he have obsessive compulsive disorder or OCD? OCD is anxiety based and involves obsessions and compulsions. Obsessions are recurring thoughts that are experienced as intrusive and cause a lot of distress and anxiety. A person will then engage in compulsions, which are like rituals, in order to alleviate the anxiety caused by the obsessions. For example, a person who washes their hands hundreds of times per day isn't doing that because they enjoy washing their hands. They're doing it to alleviate the anxiety caused by their obsessive thoughts, perhaps about germs. A person who obsesses over their personal safety might check the locks hundreds of times per day. A person might think that something bad will happen to them if they don't walk in a certain way, and so they walk in that certain way. A person technically only needs to have obsessions or compulsions to meet criteria for OCD, but there's other criteria as well. One of those criteria is that at some point the person realizes that their obsessions and compulsions are unreasonable. This is a little bit of a nuanced criteria, so allow me to elaborate. Sometimes a person with obsessions and compulsions realizes that what they're doing is a bit much, but at other times they don't realize this. This criteria is met if at any time the person has realized that they're being unreasonable. If a person never realizes that what they're doing is excessive, then another diagnosis might be more appropriate, like one of the delusional disorders or obsessive compulsive personality disorder, which I mentioned back when we discussed hoarding. Another criteria is that the obsessions and compulsions cause significant distress, interfere with someone's life in a big way, or are very time consuming. By very time consuming, I mean they take at least an hour per day. For example, most people occasionally wonder about the locks, so they go and check to make sure the front door is locked. Most people don't go and check the lock for two hours every day. Considering all of the criteria for OCD, Red doesn't really seem to fit in the picture. Yes, he vigorously collects Pokemon, and yes, he keeps track of them in almost religious detail in his Pokedex, but none of this seems distressing to him or causing him any anxiety. In short, none of the criteria I outlined before seems to apply to Red at all. A pretty good rule of thumb is that if a person isn't distressed or troubled, then they probably don't meet the criteria for most mental health disorders. Some common exceptions to that would be the personality disorders and disorders where the rights of other people are violated, like conduct disorder. Well, it seems that red doesn't meet the criteria for any mental health disorder. Keep on collecting, buddy. Next time, our tone will shift a little bit as we discuss the tragic story of a rather interesting video game character, Ethan Mars from Heavy Rain.